To understand the context behind the 2017 hurricane season, we have to go back to the beginning of the year. Many meteorological agencies were predicting a near to below average season. This was largely due to forecasts of an El Nino developing, which would typically suppress hurricane activity. Would this hurricane season continue the decade-long drought of the major United States impact? Would this season finally break that streak, or would this season go on to defy all expectations entirely? The 2017 North Atlantic hurricane season animation starts right now. We do have our first uh, tropical depression, number one, and of course it is early in the year. Experts are predicting a slightly below average hurricane season this year. Tropical Storm Harvey is now down to just a tropical wave.
So what we are looking at, talking about this in the next week, is a major flooding event due to Harp. Then after that, it just meanders. It weakens, but it meanders across eastern Texas. And that's why we could see devastating flooding. And as if that weren't enough, we're tracking another hurricane. Irma is now a Category 3 storm. So many people have to be aware of this storm, Peter, because it has the potential to not only just come across and devastate the Caribbean, but also the eastern seaboard. So Anguilla and the BVI, the U.S. Virgin Islands, you are under warnings, and it's, it's a done deal for you. You are going to get this storm. It stays to the north of these land masses, of these Caribbean islands, so there's nothing really to knock it down. And so it stays at Category 4 until Saturday afternoon. Breaking news tonight, bracing for impact. A ferocious hurricane wider than the entire state closes in on Florida. FEMA has been spending roughly $9 million an hour. The $8 billion approved by the House today means FEMA likely won't run out of money this week, but it's a fraction of the $180 billion it could cost to recover, and hurricane season doesn't end until November. Tonight, not again. Another monster hurricane is taking aim at Caribbean islands left devastated by Irma. The storm, now an extremely dangerous Category 4, it could hit as a Category 5. Puerto Rico five. in the bullseye, preparing for what could be one of the biggest hurricanes the island has ever seen. The good news is, uh, right now, Jose will actually help keep Maria from striking the mainland.
Real quickly, I'd like to give a huge thanks to Joshua, KRZY, and Adler for their help in reanalyzing this historical hurricane season. It took all four of us many, many hours to do this reanalyzing, so I could only imagine the amount of time it'd take doing it alone. I'll put their socials in the description so you can give them a follow, because they definitely deserve it. <laughs> 